naturally, you know, it's uh, not that we would be overlooking any, but it's just an extra, you know, an extra reminder, like you say, that nobody can be overlooked. Yeah, Tyson's not the type of person that will be not intimidated, but feel pressured by somebody else's performance. You know, he's not that type of guy. He's very much his own person, and he has his own thoughts and beliefs, and he sticks by them. You know, he would have watched that thinking Joshua would probably blast Ruiz out, and then that happens, and he would have thought, you know what, if he can do it, I can do it. Like it, things do happen. It is possible. One of his biggest assets is it's a bit of an unknown quantity yeah. because he's never been at this level. Mm. I'm not trying to convince anybody that. He's this or that. He could turn up there in the ring on the night and absolutely sh himself. Be like a rabbit in headlights. Or he could turn up there and thrive in the occasion, rise to the occasion, and be 50% or 10 times the man that he is normally. You don't know, so you can never underestimate anybody. It's my job to study the fighter, and I've, exactly, studied, yeah. I've studied him, and I know that I, I've seen habits and patterns and behaviours in his style and his boxing that we feel like we can exploit. So there's footage there of Tom Schwartz. He's number two with the WBO, so he's not like an unknown guy. Um, but I just mean in that overall, mm. he's not one of the top two or three people to speak of. Um, but there's plenty of footage there and I've had a look and like I say there's definitely uh, mistakes that I feel like we can capitalise on. The, his biggest strength is that what I said is a bit of an unknown quantity, he's young, he's fresh, um, I've seen that he's had to dig in in fights before and he's got it done. Um, he has a tight defence, relatively light on his feet, mm. uh, relatively fast hands, um, but like I say he's a bit of an unknown quantity so we'll see what he brings to the table on Saturday.